Hello everybody. So this is part two in a video series I'm doing on my plans and planners for 2018 to hopefully give you a few ideas of things that you can use and hopefully, you know, comment below with what you're going to be using. This section, part two, is on memory keeping and how I'm planning on memory keeping for the year. So I bought a kit during the, and so a few other things, during the after Thanksgiving sales at Michael's. And this kit, I took it out of the package because it's very noisy to do that on camera. It came with the planner, some stickers, and some washi tape. So let me show you first the washi tape. This one's got kind of a marble effect, though I think those are succulents in the background now that I look at it closely. So really pretty, kind of a greenish blue. And this is a diagonal black and white stripe. Those two came with. And this is... These are little stickers that came with, and I love the best time with the best people. You know, it just has some cute little sayings. And then it has some full boxes in case you don't fill up every box with pictures and, and notes. And it has more succulents. I love those succulents. Um, today was perfect, home sweet home. It just has some cute little cameras. I love those. So this came in the kit. Let me show you the one that I picked out is this floral one. I don't know if it has a specific name. It probably does, and I don't know what it is, but there were three or four styles, and one was a black and white stripe. I almost did that one, but inside it was very pink and white, and I did not want to stick with just one color scheme for the year. So there is the cover. It has the little stickers for each um, month, and a couple for each, because I think these are to go on the tabs. This is an undated, so you can start it at any time. You don't have to start it in January, but that's what I'm going to be doing. So more of the succulents. First tab, there is beauty and simplicity. I love that. And here is what the monthly layout looks like. On the sidebar, it says moments to capture this month. It has a little grid pattern. I love that. Like I said, totally undated. And then there are several different weekly layouts. This is the first one. It says this week, loving, thankful for, thinking of, going, wearing, excited for, favorite picture. And then I love that it has these lined columns and dot grid columns and graph columns. I love that. And some of them say things, you know, you can, of course, cover these up with pictures or stickers, but stickers, paper, whatever. But um, I will be using these lined places because my handwriting is bad. I need lines. <laughs> This is the second one. It says favorite picture this week and then noted with the dot grid. And then again, the rest of it's similar. And then I think this is the third style. Skipping a week here. This is the third style. And it said, it says love these moments. And there's five different um, numbers here. Every day is special. And then again with the dot grid and lines. And I think it repeats after that. Yes, it does. It repeats after that. So there are three different styles. Um, at the end of each month, they have this really cool thing. Monthly milestones. There's a place for a picture. This month in one word. Favorite moments, one through five again. What we celebrated. Memorable quote. These will likely be quotes from my grandchildren. Hopefully I can come up with just one for the month. But they say the most hysterical things. I'm sure everybody feels that way about their grandkids, but... They just say some things sometimes I'm like, they're not even trying to be funny sometimes, <laughs> but they are. Happiness is always a cho choice. That's a Joel o Osteen quote. Not my favorite person, but that's a nice quote. And again, these pages repeat. Again, this monthly, at the end of each month, learn from yesterday, live for today, Albert Einstein. Some foiled flowers, very pretty. Some more succulents. Do what you love. Flowers feed the soul. Beautiful white roses. There are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. Enjoy the little things. Friends are like flowers. They fill the world with beauty. I will say that when you're doing this type of memory keeping, and probably Project Life or any other type of memory keeping, it does make you appreciate the daily and the weekly a lot more. Not just the big events, but, you know, what happened this week? 
that I can document and that, that I really loved about the week. So that's always nice to do for yourself. Love, love, love. More succulents. Do what makes your soul shine. Wild and free. Life is a journey, not a destination. Ralph Waldo Emerson. And then in the back, it has some special pages. This one says the best day, and it's got today in one word. And then on the back, it has a little graph at the top. This is big and some more places to document. And let me see how many of these pages. One, two, three, four, five, six. The six of those. Then there are some birthday pages. How your how old, wearing, excited for, who wear, favorite gift, some photo pages, and then some more on the back. And there's one, uh, two, three, four, five, six birthday pages, which we probably need more than six in a year, I'm sure. Then it has some vacation pages, which are really cute. All that documenting your vacation. One two, three, only three of those, which I, you know, would likely need more for trips that we do during the year, but, um, happy day. There's one of those sweet memories on the back and then 30 days of gratitude page with some, um, small photo openings on the back. And then this one says summer fun. Favorite summer traditions, the best day. I love that. Then another 30 days of gratitude, autumn memories, 30 days of gratitude, Merry Christmas, and 30 days of gratitude again. So very cute. It says live creatively on the back, and then it has some pretty flowers on the back too. Okay, so that's what the actual planner looks like. Then I bought this package of pocket cards. And I didn't buy any of the po pocket card pages, you know, the clear um, photo op pages or pocket pages, whatever they call them for Create 365. They do have them if you want them. But I have one of those heat tools that, you know, you can section off some of the photo pages, the large photo pages. So I thought I'd try to do a few myself and make them whatever size I want. But these, they've got the small cards that are kind of the size of the um, pages on the monthly layout. And they're really pretty. A lot of foiling, beautiful colors, all different colors, which I love that. It's not sticking to a certain theme. It's, it has 53 pieces, so 53 different cards in this um, package. And I can't remember if there were different pocket cards in different styles, and I just picked out this one, but there may be, or they may have only been this one at the Michaels I went to. So there's all the little cards, and then there's this size. A lot of foiling. Gorgeous. And they have different orientations. I should say that the backs of all of these cards are blank. So if you're going to use the photo pocket pages, you're going to have to put one in front and one in back or a picture in the back and one of these in the front. The Pipere, that's so cute. The little quotes. Another picture perfect. That seems to have some damage on it, like a shiny spot. Hmm. Hopefully I didn't do that as I'm sitting here playing with them, but I don't think so. I haven't been doing any art today, so... We were together, I forgot the rest. Walt Whitman, love that quote. Go see, explore, documented, love that typewriter. And then it's got the big ones. Peter Pan quote. Pretty. So all adorable. And
And again, this is the 53 piece um, Happy Memory Keeping Pocket Cards. And it doesn't have a different name for this set of pocket cards, so this may be the only one. Okay, so there's that. And I bought two sticker books. This one is called Memory Keeping Holidays. And I'm just going to flip through really quickly so that this video is not 30 minutes long. It basically goes through the seasons. Oh, look at this little nativity. So cute. New Year. Fall. Look at the eyeballs on that full, um, full sticker. Boiling. Oh, this is the back to school. So cute. Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, birthday party. Just beginning into the 4th of July here. Yep, 4th of July. More birthday. And then look at these gorgeous flowers. And these are the clear backed stickers. So they don't show any white through or anything. They're just clear. Easter. Summer. Or summer. Oh, it has kind of a bucket list. Go to the visit the zoo, go to the fair. Love that the s'mores. And then St. Patrick's Day is here with the 4th of July, which I don't really get. But then, okay, so that is this one, and it is Happy Memory Keeping Holidays. This one is Happy Memory Keeping Floral Memories. Yes, I have a thing for floral designs. <laughs> it's got some more full boxes. And these seem to be the size of the monthly um, squares. My favorite, it's got the gold glitter on the pink. And this for the sidebar, I really love that. You want to change the sidebar up. Some stars. Oh, photo corners, cute. Who, what, where, when, how. Confetti. And it's got the little who, what, where, when, how, and then hearts and stars. This is something that um, Happy Planner people do a lot. Again, clear stickers with flowers. Some different sayings. I can't see myself putting some of these on there. Adorbs? Probably not. <laughs> but there are some cute sayings on there. <laughs> There's another page of just black and white. Here's some tropical leaves, tropical flowers, flamingo and pineapples, More florals with a few sayings, and then it has these um, little borders. Oh, happy day, favorite. And I love that you can use these big words and big things in the, the um, large happy planner. Loving this. Captured, love it, happy times. Okay, so that's the other book. This one is Happy Memory Keeping Floral Memories. There are other Happy Memory Keeping sticker books. These are just the two that I chose. I already had the rainbow um, for the Big Happy Planner, and it is just different sayings and things all, you know, in color sections, which I really, I really appreciate that when I'm putting a layout together. And then this is the memory planning for the Big Happy Planner that they came out with first before this Happy Memory Planning line. Really cute stuff in there. Again, I've had those two for a while. And then this is the last thing I purchased. This is Happy Memory Keeping Sheets. They're eight and a half by 11, and they're already pre-punched. So I'll show you, it's got some photo sheets, and the backs have something on them too. So they're front and back. Memories of a Happy Life. And I thought that I would need these extra sheets when, for instance, we're going on a seven day cruise in February. So I will need more locations for photos. Oh, these are the little cards. Aren't those cute? 
and I know I will need more photo sections. So all of these pages will come in handy for birthdays, just big events that you're documenting during the year. Memory, oh, what's this say? Remember life, and it has some more out of the squares, if you like. There's some foiling again. Some confetti. Big photo locations on the back. Picture perfect. That's cute. True story. Stripes. Polka dots. Chevron. Big polka dots. Okay, I really like that they've done this. So it says me and you, and they've got a spot for a large picture. And I can see using this on my anniversary. I can see using this um, with grandchildren or when we're on our cruise. They always take that picture of when you first get on of you in front of the ship and the front of a backdrop of a ship, I should say. So that would look really nice there. This happy life. More photo page on the back. Oh, happy day. Big polka dots again. Okay, so this is happy memory keeping, and this is the brights for these pocket pages. Again, they are not pocket pages, full pages, and there are others too. It's not just this, uh, the brights collection. There were other collections. This is just the one I thought I would use the most, so that's what I purchased. So that is everything I'm planning on using for memory keeping. I hope you've come up with a way to document your memories for the year whichever way you like to do it. Um, I'll still be doing a December daily and, and some other little scrapbooky type things to document mini albums, that kind of thing. But this will be um, just a way to keep track of the little moments in life as well as the big moments. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching and happy planning.